Hello, and welcome to this playthrough of the new Ajax and Diomedes DLC. We're taking a look at one half of the double act, Diomedes. At a mere 20 years old, Diomedes was the youngest of the Achaeans, but despite this, was a tactical genius. And unlike Achilles, who was prone to diva fits, he was a brave and well-disciplined fighter. Before he joined the Achaeans at the gates of Troy, Diomedes and his fellow warriors of the Epigoni fought a war to avenge the deaths of their fathers and take the city of Thebes. Laodamus, son of the former Theban the king, apparently didn't destroyed. get the memo and has retaken the city. So we're going to join Diomedes as he heads to war and once more puts Thebes under glorious Achaean rule. Diomedes was the king of Argos, which forms part of the province of Argolis, here in the eastern Peloponnese. Our quarry, Thebes, is a three-day march north of here. Our immediate neighbours, the Corinthians, don't like us very much and they stand between us and Thebes. So let's start a war with them. As my main goal is to take Thebes, I don't actually want to waste too much time on the Corinthians, but I still want them well and truly under my thumb. To do this, we're going to use Dominance, a resource which builds up in the Master Strategist mechanic, unique to Diomedes. Let's take a look how it works. In the new Master Strategist menu, I've been given four objectives against the Corinthians to build up my Dominance. Defeat their faction leader Clitios, conquer their capital, sack or raise Stymphalos, and defeat their hero, Onchestos. Here's how I got on against him. The Master Strategist mechanic reflects Diomedes' skill as a Master Strategist who, with a judicious use of overwhelming force, can devastate his foes and then sue for peace on crippling terms for the enemy. Diomedes has a range of new units, including excellent axe and sword units, like these Argive Raiders. Most of these units have Vanguard deployment, so I'm going to send these Raiders to hide, so when the enemy moves forward to meet my main force, I can surround them and brutally destroy Laos and his army. I've completed all my objectives, as you can see by the check marks, and my dominance resource is now full. Instead of trying to capture the last two Corinthian settlements, so I'm going to sue for peace. But as payment for not invading, I'm going to demand a crippling tribute of bronze, wood and gold for 10 turns. I can see here this deal has a negative value, which would normally mean it would be rejected. But by adding my dominance to the deal, it tips the balance in my favour and the Corinthians are forced to accept. As a brave, clever, and handsome soldier, Diomedes was of course favoured by Athena, the goddess of war. Wisdom and might. Athena greatly admired Diomedes' father Tydeus, and nearly made him immortal, until she saw him eating the brains of an enemy who had wounded him. But that's another story. Diomedes can still receive divine will from any of the cults you choose, but he does receive certain favours from Athena elsewhere. King of Argos. Diomedes' first skill is Might of Athena, which when activated, gives Diomedes a boost in melee attack and Aristea points, which will let him activate his Aristea earlier than other heroes. I'm going to build a strategic camp in Argos. This building line will give me increasingly powerful buffs to my heroes recruited in Argolis and favour of Athena, which will increase as I upgrade the building. I've sent an advanced army to Thebes on a reque, and on the way I've spotted Salamis, the home of Ajax. Ajax wasn't one of the Epigoni who captured Thebes, but he's a strong Achaean nevertheless, and we don't want any trouble. He's already quite friendly towards me, so he won't mind my army passing through quickly. Okay, so I've built up my army and I'll I've got a clear shot at Thebes, but as Diomedes is wise to know, victory comes through planning. So first I'm going to make the most of the units in my army. I've upgraded my strategic camp to a military library, which has been boosting the experience of my hero. And I've got one more tactical trick up my sleeve to make my army unstoppable. Paragon units. Paragon units are new units unique to Ajax and Diomedes. Elite versions of standard units led into battle by an experienced captain. Diomedes Paragon units are recruited from the Argos Finest menu. First, I select a trainee unit, and then I choose a Strategos to train them. In return, the new unit will get some pretty generous buffs. Strategoi are linked to settlements top two live in my home settlement of Argos and Tyria, and Koronos, for example, will unlock once I take Thebes. I'm going to train some spearmen with Polydoros, which will take one more turn than Stenelos, but a 50% weapon upgrade is too good to miss. Okay, 
It's nearly time to take Thebes. Son of I've trained Titus. a few Paragon units which should give me the edge in battle. And there's one final bit of preparation to do before I go. And that's to pray to the cult of Athena. Kill As I've been loyally worshipping her cult since I started, us. I've received some impressive buffs and will now earn her favour in battle. Let's go to Thebes. Thebes, the city of seven gates, has been given a special makeover for this DLC. My plan is to use those seven gates to spread the defense thinly around the city, and then use my troops' superior training and experience to mercilessly crush the enemy. I'm sending my more heavily armored units to the wall, while my paragon units will charge in through the gates once the battering ram has smashed them in. My Argive Swordmasters, a new unit unique to Diomedes, are making short work of the heavy club units on the wall. Now my Paragon Axemen have stormed the Eastern Gate, they're doing a pretty good job of mopping up any resistance on the ground. Meanwhile, our man Diomedes is taking on two units of spearmen on the ramparts, neither of whom stand a chance. And it's not long before Laodamus men run for it, and I insist my men live up to their reputation as aggressive warriors and chase them down and slaughter them. So Laodamus is slain, and Thebes is back under Achaean control. Where to now? It's over to you for Diomedes' next conquest.